A young missionary, Father Laurent Arbert, reported to his superior bishop Florence in 1821 that he had encountered a small community of Catholics on the island, 12 or 13 in number, and they seemed to live a wretched life. Father Arbert recommended that a missionary presence be established on the island. He then went on to China and Korea, eventually becoming Korea's bishop. Just at that time in Korea, there was a severe persecution of Christians. The rulers in Korea made a deal. If the bishop surrendered himself, the Christians would be spared. He surrendered to the authorities. Then there were two more priests, also living in hiding. Abbeer wrote to them and said, you better surrender to the police as well, in order to spare the persecution of our people. He quoted St. John, the good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. So they also surrendered, and uh, one month later, three of them were beheaded. Father Ambert was martyred in 1839. That very same year, a young 26-year-old by the name of Father Jean-Marie Burrell landed on Singapore's shores. He took charge of the Catholic community and obtained a piece of land on Brass Bassa Road to build a new church. When Burrell started building the church, he and Bishop Bouchot chose the name of Good Shepherd in memory of Bishop Ambert. So the church in Singapore has been connected with someone who gave their life for Christ.